Hi, my name is Clarissa Luke, and I'm currently working as a DevOps engineer at Education Horizons Group, which is a software developer development company based here in Perth. I work, I work remotely with DevOps and software engineering teams based around Australia, particularly Melbourne and Brisbane. So with regards to my role, my main responsibilities includes the provision and management of cloud infrastructure using scripting and automation tools. I also involve in designing, implementing, and maintaining our continuous integration processes and continuous deployment tooling. I also help provide infrastructure and support and cloud support to the software engineering teams as well as provide cloud database user management services to our teams. So with regards to why I have assessed myself as a, to at, at a particular level of the SFIA professional skill, for example, um, the IT in infrastructure or ITOP, I assess it as level three. It is because that with um, my current role, I'm heavily involved in setting up a cloud infrastructure, which is actually an IT infrastructure. And I, I do it on the AWS cloud um, services with the use of our infrastructure as code central repository. So technically I'm using TypeScript, Bash and Python programming language languages to execute all the provisioning of cloud resources that will be used later for our internal teams. Another skill that I have mentioned is actually systems installation and removal, and I assess it to level three. It is because uh, I also perform systems installation, the commissioning and testing for our system components as part of our continuous integration and continuous deployment process. So for example, the software engineering, team, engineering teams decided to migrate um, some of their new um, old tooling to the new ones. So the new technologies, they wanted to use new technologies. I helped them migrate to the from the old software to the new software. And I do it independently. Of course, like um, when I requ require some guidance, I will request um, a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my DevOps, um, with our, with our DevOps, senior DevOps engineer, and then we'll just collaborate, but I will be working independently on, on the progress, on the project. The next one would be security operations or SCAD. I put it as level three as well because um, we are heavily involved in providing security to our cloud services. So when we provision cloud services or whenever we provision any cloud resources, we make sure that as a part of our DevOps best practices in our um, DevOps team, the provisions resources are actually following the correct security protocols. So for example, when we deploy a database, um, we should make sure that we have keys that are encrypted and we keep the encryption keys in a certain storage where it's also protected. Um, we also help set alarms on the security resources if they get into a not normal state. Another skill that I have provided is actually the software configuration or port where um, I assess it as level three as well because I collaborate with software engineers all together and I will take full responsibility if they have a request to help them provision cloud resources. This would involve some software configuration on those resources and I myself is the one doing um, uh, implementing the, the coding and the design and then deploy the requested resources. Um, the other one that I have added in my skill list is actually the system software. Um, this one is actually the exact, uh, like, like probably 80% of what I do every day as a DevOps engineer at my current role, um, because I'm heavily involved in installing, managing, controlling, deploying, and maintaining cloud infrastructure software. So um, technically everything that I do is um, involving heavily on this particular skill. So um, after provisioning all the complex cloud infrastructure, it's not just provisioning like one certain resource, but it's actually connecting them all together and make sure um, that they work all, all together in a way where um, 
it follows the best practice for the company standards. And then other than that, I have to make sure that I also know how to troubleshoot them when there they, they are broken, um, when there's a broken pipeline or there's a broken resource that, that cannot connect to, from one to another. And this is where I came into like, not just about like my expertise in that particular domain, but also like I have this decision um, making skills that I have to make sure that uh, when I set this kind of connection, I make sure that when it gets it gets broken, I will know how to go about and fixing it. And if I will need to collaborate with other people, for example, like uh, asking um, software engineers how they came about of having the error, I will know how to collaborate with them. And as we know, like speaking the language of software engineers, which is very technical, I would know how to speak with them as well. Um, another skill that I have been uh, looking at as well is the system and software lifecycle engineering. So technically, my daily task involves in the deployment and of cloud environments for software engineers. I also help them develop and continually improve their our infrastructure as code. So technically, as a DevOps engineer, the DevOps team stores or we have an, a, a software or a, a library where we keep and store and make sure that those are being used or still like a centralized um, code where we use it. Um, if um, there are request changes or someone wants to uh, add in uh, add more infrastructure to their particular service, our code is being used and make sure that that is the one that is the source of truth that created those resources. Just in case if there are issues, then we can just go back to the code and um, and look back who had made the changes and correct it if there's something wrong. So after provisioning the complex cloud infrastructure, it helps the, the cloud, those, those um cloud infrastructure or the, the 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 resources that I help that I have had created actually holds the software system as a back end so that software engineers can go and work on the applications that they are developing on. Now the next one would be software integration. I'm fully involved with creating from continuous integration and continuous in deployment pipelines. So technically the pipelines are actually making sure that whenever um, application developers or the in software engineers do their commits or their changes on their um, software that they're working on, it, I make sure as a, as a DevOps engineer on the operation side that these um, changes will integrate with um, with the correct or uh, with the, the current system that is already working. I mean, that way to make sure that it make is integrate. Um, there's a pipeline that what we call a pipeline where it um, creates a, a, a new environment and then it will do a testing, it will do a building, and it finds out something that is not working, means it did not integrate, easily, it can easily spot on um, uh, automatically, and we can easily fix it right away uh, while it's still a small issue. Um, what else? Yeah, programming and software development. Um, this is another skill that I've been um, working on in, in my current work. And um, as, as you can say, as a DevOps engineer, I'm daily involving in coding, debugging, testing, building, and deploying software, particularly our cloud infrastructure. I mean, our infrastructure is called library. I actually have designed um, and developed a construct library. So it's a, it's a software where we use it to uh, provision cloud resources in a way where it already has some pre-installed um, um, requirements like for security, if we want to set up an S3 bucket, it, 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 um, we will just um, do some edit on a small edit on the configuration, but it already has security on top of it. Um, but um, actually our goal is to let uh, the software engineers do that themselves later on in a way that we as DevOps engineers will just provide support of whatever they want to create um, uh, with the infrastructure that they wanted to create in the future. Um, um, I think that's all for my end. Um, thank you.